Hello friends and followers. Yeah, another day in Fairweather Studios and today it's grey and it's raining. So uh, the best opportunity to make a quick video for you. I just show you my setup. Today is um, pedal harp recording and this is what I tried. Um, I hope you can see it with my microphones. We will see how it comes out. It's all learning by doing <laughs> because last time I used a different equipment for making my CD. Um, but there's another subject I want to talk about quickly today. Uh, that is the subject small hands and playing the pedal harp. I have had a chat yesterday with two beautiful ladies playing the harp. I will take them if they allow me, I will ask. <laughs> Um, about small hands in harp music and a lot of harp music for the pedal harp is very difficult to play if you are short, have short arms and have really short fingers. Um, I just want to show you what I mean with short fingers when I put this measuring device here. My hand is not, you see it's seven centimeters on the widest part and the longest finger um, I was trying like that <laughs> is not even 14 centimeters and that is what I mean with the <laughs> with short hands um, and short fingers and so what I decided as a composer is as well to bring this into my music because I am short I have short fingers and so all my repertoire is of course playable for people with short fingers <laughs> because I have to play it so all my pieces for small harp of course on a small harp you don't have so much possibility for stretches so that's playable as well but I decided to do some pieces for the pedal harp as well I have uh, for example my passion for pedal harp that is absolutely playable for small hands and um, I think a lot of you heard already my sleeping garden I might have try as a, as a composer is to make my music not impressive by big chords and big stretches because I'm just not physically capable. I love the music, that's nothing against this music, I just can't play it. So I have to look for other ways to make music nice and um, impressive, but I have to use different patterns. So what I try to do is um, using like coloring with three fingers and uh, this is now my sleeping garden and then harmonics are coming in to give it a bit of sense and there are as well um to check the pedals there are as well um, places in this piece where you need chords, but there are uh, chord progressions and you never have to go over an octave. You see an octave is already, it's already a stretch for me. And then it's here a chord again with just three fingers and a stretch for an octave. And this is not even an octave going up here and this is even smaller just um, three notes always I'm paddling here now this is a B here and, and my left foot and so yeah I hope you like the sleeping garden. I will um, put it under the video that you can have a listen to it. And if you like it, you can order the sheet music. Uh, just write me an email via, via my website. It's as well, as well um, linked here under the video. So um, yeah, I try to get on with my recording. But if you have small hands and need sheet music for your help, just check my YouTube channel, subscribe me if you want to do something good for me and um, pick something up. I'm, I'm always happy um, to help um, with sheet music. So um, hope to see you soon. I wish you a beautiful day. Bye.